These are my tools to create awesome PS3 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VSC Power, now Holson Project Phoenix Media. In today's video game tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take a PS3, could be a fat or slim, that's running 3.55 OFW and update that to the latest CFW, which is 4.76.1 at the time of this recording. Of course, if you have a modded PS3 already with a lower CFW, you can certainly use this video tutorial and update yourself to the latest rebug, which I'm going to be using for today's example. So, if we go to rebug.me, we click on the very latest post here, and here we see there's a 4.76.1 firmware for both DREX and also REX consoles. In my particular case, I am going to install the REX Cobra 7.2 edition for my CEX PS3 system. If you're into game modding, maybe you want to consider your DEX version as well. So if you scroll down to the bottom of the post here, there's some links. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the 4.76.1 Rex file. It's a zip file with a text file that shows you where to download the latest firmware. Or if you want to go the DREX route, you can certainly go and do that as well. In addition, what I'm also going to do is also reinstall the latest Rebug Toolbox. I'm going to do the full edition. So I already downloaded those files, and I already extracted it to a folder on my desktop. So this is what the core files looks like. So this is the Rex edition, 4.76.1 for Rebug. And I also got the Rebug Toolbox, the full edition as well. So the first thing we want to do is let's prepare your USB thumb drive. So over here I have a USB thumb drive. It's already formatted as FAT32, but if you want to see the process one more time, go to your thumb drive, right click, go to format, make sure it says FAT32. All this default stuff is the same, that's fine. Go ahead, give it a volume label and say start and format that USB thumb drive. Once that format process is complete then what we're going to do is copy over the files so the first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead i'm going to open up my ps3 thumb drive drag it out over here so let's go ahead copy the rebug toolbox just put it on the root of your thumb drive so we got that going on good next thing we want to do is we got to copy over the firmware update file so we're going to make a new folder called ps3 all capital letters Inside this folder, make one more nested folder. We're going to call this update. And then now we just copy over this rebug file. Right click, copy over, and just copy it over. So it's going to take a few minutes or whatever. Once that file has copied itself over, then we're going to rename the file to be ps 3 updatepup Yes, it's got to be that very specific file name. Otherwise, when you plug into your PS3 the right most USB port, it's not going to recognize your update file when you're trying to install it from the right most USB. Okay, so the copying is just about done. And here we are. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to rename this. And ps 3 updatepup That's it. We're good to go. Go ahead, go down here, eject your USB thumb drive. And now what I want you to do is go ahead, go to your PS3, and we will recontinue the video tutorial and show you how to have a lot of good times. Let's do this. All right, so this next portion of the video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do the upgrade process 3.55 or if you have a CFW to the latest rebug 4.76.1. And I'm using the CEX console. So here's my PS3 Slim. I got the USB thumb drive plugged in on the rightmost USB port. So now let's go back to my TV screen here. And just for... Uh, kicks. Let's go to system settings. Show you what I'm at currently. So I'm at 3.55. And if I go to the game section here, I don't have any of that items that allows you to install homebrew programs or apps. So now we go to um, here, system update. Go to update via storage media. Scanning, scanning, scanning. Here is found 4.76.1 rebug. Awesome. Press OK. And now we're just going to follow through the system screens. Let me just adjust that. All right. So here we go. Let's do this. Accept. I'm not going to turn it off automatically. Let's start it and let's do this. As the video goes on, um, I will fast forward or cut out portions of it just to make the video a little bit shorter. So we'll see how this goes.
So on the previous screen, I had to press the PS button just in case, and then it went into this screen here. So we're just going to wait this out. I will fast forward slash edit appropriately, and we'll see how this goes. All right, so we have successfully updated the firmware. Just as a double check, we go to the game section. We see that we have all this stuff that was not there before. Now we go down to settings, and we go to system settings, and we go down to system information. Now it says 4.76. That is awesome. And just for kicks, let's go ahead and install my rebug toolbox. So go to install package files, standard, rebug toolbox, 20208, and let's install this. So my system is now officially jailbroken, uh, updated to CFW 4.76.1 for CEX Rex firmware. So that's today's video game tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.